Solid decking is required at large penetrations from eave and above built up curbs for all panel installation. A solid curb is to be built up around the roof opening to support required equipment and sheet metal roofing. Underlayment is to be installed on the roof deck and carried up the curb on all four sides. Subflashing is required around all four sides of the curb on top of the underlayment. After which, entire body of roof is to receive underlayment installation. Panel installation then starts from the eave up to the penetration and from one side of the penetration to the other. The first panel is to be installed such that the flat is carried up above the curb's lower corner and that the panel legs are seamed into the adjacent panel and carried up the side of the curb. The next panel is installed and seamed into the first panel. The last panel is installed opposite hand of the first. Underlayment is installed over the flat of the lower side panels. The side panels are formed such that the flat is carried up above the curb's upper corner and the panel legs are seamed into the adjacent panel and carried up the side of the curb. The other side panel is installed opposite hand of this. Note a cleat may be required to hold down the panel if it does not sit flat. Underlayment is then installed over the flat of the side panels. An upper continuous flashing is installed across the back of the curb from seam to seam and carried up the back of the curb and around its corners. Underlayment is installed over this flashing and then a continuous cleat is installed at this location. Above the curb, typical roof panel installation is carried out with the flat of the panel pans hooked onto this cleat. Z-closures are to be field cut to fit between the panel seams below the curb. Then counter flashing hooks on to the Z-closure and is carried up the curb as well counter flashing from the rooftop equipment is carried around and down the sides of the curb.